Hello, this is Professor Phil giving you a bachelor's degree in business. Today we'll be talking about operations management. Please come visit my website at operationsmanagementtraining.blogspot.com. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Today's organizational management lesson is going to be on the seven different types of waste. Uh, the person who discovered this is Shigo Shingo. So he's the one, he's the creator and the originator of this. So waste is anything produced that the customer doesn't want or won't pay for. So the first one is overproduction. So this just basically means simply you produce too much. Uh, this can result in excess inventory and this is caused by people just wanting to look busy. So they want to keep their employees employed so they just give them tasks to do and that results in overproduction waste. The second type of waste is inventory waste and this is when goods are not sold. Uh, and this can be uh, caused by unreliable projections. So if there's a sales projection that's extremely high and uh, they didn't get their data from anywhere reliable, well, production's gonna produce all that and if you can't sell it, then that produces inventory waste. The third type of waste is motion waste. And this is when workers move more than they need to to complete a task. So this can be caused by inadequate standing, operator, standing operating procedures. So if, if you don't have the process down or you haven't figured out the most efficient and effective way to do something, this, this will probably result in motion waste for your workers. The fourth type of waste is waiting waste. And what this is is waiting for a work style to end so the next one can be started. So basically your workers are just sitting there doing nothing, waiting to be, you know, waiting for the next cycle to begin so they can begin working again. And this can be result, the, uh, the cause of this can be ineffective production planning. So if no one comes in and says, hey, let's do this process better, you'll probably have waiting waste. The fifth type of waste is transportation waste. And this is when parts move more than they need to to complete a task. So just like motion waste for workers, transportation waste is for parts. And this can be caused by parts needing to use more than one machine. So they'd be sharing a machine uh, with another part that gets produced and they would just have to wait their turn uh, producing transportation waste. The sixth type of waste is over processing waste. And this is making customers go through an excessive process to receive goods. A prime example of this, as we all can uh, probably uh, know about, is rebates. Some rebates, the customer has to do an excessive amount of work, and this results in overprocessing waste. And it can just be caused by no innovation or motivation within the company. No one, the company says, we really don't care about giving customer the rebate money, so we're not trying to Im improve the process or make it easy for anyone. The seventh type of waste is mess up waste. Well, this is when something goes wrong with the making the product, resulting in customer rejections. So customers will not buy it. And this can be caused by unskilled or untrained workers. If the workers just aren't trained, they're gonna, they're gonna produce mess up waste that when the goods get to the store and get ready to be sold, uh, no customer will buy them. Or when they do get sold, a customer will return them and get their money back and in effect not buy them like that. So those are the seven different types of waste. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, Professor Phil here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. I just wanted to mention a couple things before you go. Uh, I think that will help students or potential students. So the two questions that are on everybody's mind is how do I pay for school and as a student, Am I, am I really ready to pass all these courses? Because when you get in the 300, 400 level university courses or graduate degrees, stuff like that, they get pretty tough. So I want to recommend a couple things from Professor Phil uh, for you to check out. And you can check them out if you want. I'm not, not trying to force anybody. So just want to kind of recommend a couple things. So the first product I wa want to recommend is, look, th these people, they've taken the scholarships. They actually say we can guarantee scholarships. And they, they've taken all the scholarships and put them into one complete source so you can get scholarships in one location you don't got to go here you don't got to go there you can just find them in one spot 
So, I mean, why pay for school with your own money when you can pay for it with someone else's money? That's just my opinion. But, And so the second thing is, you know, am I ready as a student? So, you know, we've all spent hours and hours just in the library, just going over and over material and like memorizing it. And it takes forever and we all hate doing it. So I, uh, I recommend a, a memory course that uh, helps people retain what they learn. And it's a memory training course. And... Uh, you know, if that's your problem, uh, maybe, maybe there's people out there who are AE students. I'm not one of them, and I need all the help I can get. So, you know, if, if you're like me, you might want to check it out. So, just wanted to leave those two things with you. For the links, just uh, check my site underneath this video. I'll have both links posted. And uh, check it out if you want to check it out. All right, until next time.